Joost blijft petit niet aan. Joost blijft petit niet aan. Is I in protein? Is I in protein? Is I in calcium? Is I in calcium? In a tub for children. In a tub for children. Very good, Jerome. Very good, Jerome. No, that's enough. No, that's enough. Safe and easy. <laughs> Joost blijft. It's French for harmless nuclear testing. Very good, Pierre. <laughs> a rare political comment. You, 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 uh, are you still studying French? You're uh, studying French, weren't you? Bit, yeah. Yeah. A bit. Haven't you protested against the nuclear testing by giving that away? The French lessons no, on this? No, I thought... Why are you doing it? No one's actually told us why you're actually studying French. To do the ads, right? Obviously. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you want to keep studying. <laughs> You've had a shocker. What about Giraud? He fell off the, his seat yeah. three times. You got me anyway. in a bit of trouble in France trying to teach me what to say, didn't you? <laughs> you got chased all over the joint. Had a right over what you were dressed in. Yeah. Our next guest is pretty good night to have him on, actually. They just had a meeting out there <coughs> at North City to discuss Super League and the ARL, all sorts of things. Who better to come on and talk about it than their uh, captain? He's their captain, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Jason Taylor. Please, mate, welcome Jason Taylor, their captain. <laughs> What's doing, big Jace? Everything all right? Mate, you know which team I play for tonight? <laughs> of course. He's done his homework. Yeah, really finger unreal. on the pulse. Yeah. Uh, what's happening out there in Bear Territory? There's all sorts of things that are being said in the newspapers about players wanting to switch to Super League, and you, yet, uh, what's news? What news has come out of the meeting tonight? Well, the first thing is, um, at, on mass, the players had a meeting with Super League. Probably the biggest mistake we made as as players, we we didn't listen to both sides of the story in the first place. You, you need to know what's going on on both sides now. Um, we had a meeting with Super League. Now, simply, the biggest thing about it is this whole thing's been money all, the, all along, but um, we didn't go to Super League because players want to get more money. Um, there's been a lot of talk about mergers with Manly. Um, players were genuinely, genuinely worried that if Super League gets off the ground, um, they've tied up all the, all the um, overseas teams and, and we won't be able to play representative football. So what we simply did is went there and had to listen to what they had to say. Now, as a club... We're 100 percent behind North Sydney. North Sydney are a club who, who have looked after us as players, and we simply want to stay behind them 100 percent. Now, the meeting we had tonight wasn't a meeting of us and them. We didn't demand anything from the board. We just simply wanted to talk to them about the decisions that they've made. We just want to be informed um, on where the club's going. We're 100 percent behind the club, but as players, we just simply want to know where they're going. Um, the thing that's come out of it, um, from my point of view, is. I want to play with North Sydney, and North Sydney have signed to play in the ARL competition, and that's where they're going to stay. And, and I'm loyal to North Sydney. Uh, I've signed a loyalty agreement with the ARL, but at the moment, that, to me, that's basically to say that I want to stay with North Sydney because uh, as a team, we, we've got some disappointments about some of the things the ARL have done. We've had players who, who probably should have played in the Australian team but, but weren't in there, um, and players who, who had gone to Super League and then come back mm. to the ARL, cool. were in their spot. So, so um, we've got some disappointments with the ARL. So what happened at the meeting? <laughs> well, basically, we just spoke to the board. They, they told us um, their reasons for, for signing with the ARL. Sure. We, we pledged our loyalty to them. We're, we're in, it, in, in it together as a club, and we've got to right. stay that way. Are the players missing out financially <clears throat> at North Sydney? No, I don't think so. The players have been looked after pretty well all along. And, and as I say, the biggest thing was to make sure if... The last thing we as players want to do is, is end up playing for a club or, or previously played for a club that, that ends up like Newtown and, and, and isn't there anymore. Was your coach Peter Louis there tonight and do you know how he stands? Peter Louis was there tonight. He's, he signed with the North Sydney club to the end of 97 and, and that's where he'll be staying. Yeah. Jace, Jace, sorry, sorry, if there was a merger with Manly, would it be fair to say that a lot of your players would miss out? Is that, is that one of the problems? Well, I, I just think in the whole thing, North Sydney have, have probably... Um, always been looked upon as second-rate citizens too manly. I haven't been at North Sydney for very long, but it's not hard to pick up. And um, the players genuinely love, love North Sydney. They want to be a part of North Sydney and they want North Sydney to, to be there in the future. Um, Adrian Toole, who hasn't got long to go in his career, he, he wants to be able to say to people that he played for North Sydney, a club that's still running around in the competition in 10 years' time. 
and that was a genuine concern of the club of the players. Jason, in a rugby league week players poll this week, 70% of the players polled said there are too many teams in the competition. Now, I don't know whether you were polled or not, but do you consider there are, firstly, too many teams with 20, and are there too many in Sydney? Oh, yeah, I, I do. I think there's too many teams, well, yeah. and there's too many in Sydney, but... Well, I don't who's want... going to go? I mean, that's the point. See, someone has to go. If there's too many in Sydney, someone has to go. And I mean... Yeah, I'm like you. I don't want to see Balmain go. I'm sure all the South people don't want to see the South Sydney people well, go. And the, I mean, and the Balmain players don't want to see them go. The players from East don't want to see their club yeah, go. Right. And they, they're going to fight for that. Mm. Um, and if they didn't, they'd be silly. But there seems to be a general acceptance in the rugby league community that there are too many teams in the comp and too many teams in Sydney, but no one apart from St George and the Roosters at the moment want to put their hand up and say, yeah, we'll, we'll fall on our own sword and we'll go. I well, mean, that's we, the problem. What we've got to basically do is stick solid as a club, mm. perform the best we can on the field, and, and whichever way it goes, we're going to be in a position of power because both sides are going to win. That's mm. the important thing. Is that you really need to finish the season strongly to... to to be up with the top sides, and it's been disappointing this year so far for you, hasn't it? Well, we've been we, we've been one of the most solid clubs. We've stuck together. Obviously, it's worried it's worried some of our players that we haven't performed as well as we could. Um, and and I think now that this has come out, if we can put it to bed now, be happy with what we've done, then we're only going to do better from here on for the rest of the year. That's good. I mean, you've got a basically a very good football side, and the, the Queensland boys in there: uh, Gary Larson, Billy Moore, Tony Hearn, some super players in your side. We've got a great side, and, and as I say, that's what we want to do. Ensure that we continue to have a good side and um, be in the best possible position. Well, I mean, can. look, I give you a million to one a merger between Manly and North. It no, just well, won't happen. Manly won't. Mean. They're not talking about it. North Sydney aren't talking about it. And the ARL aren't talking about it. So whoever's spreading that rumour is just a load of crap. Well, it's not a. It's, I mean, it's not a rumour. There's a general acceptance by rugby league people that 11 is too many teams yeah. in Sydney. And I mean, obviously, teams that are close together. Locality well, yeah, but it's going to come down. About. It's going to come down as the rich, the richest clubs will survive, mm. and if that's the case, North and Manly will survive. Well, North, they're yeah. both very financial. They're yeah. both very strong clubs with good uh, administration. They will both survive on their own two Jason, so we can take it as read that the, the North Sydney players, I, I guess you can't speak for all of them, will be remaining with the mm. ARL in that case. Then, if they're going to remain with North Sydney, the North Sydney players are sticking behind the North Sydney club. We're all, we're all happy there. We all love the place, and that's where we want to be and the North Sydney club is going to stick with the ARL. Okay, well, that's all. Jason, it's clear that up for us. Thanks, uh, Jason Taylor. Good on you, mate. Thanks.